Good morning, everyone. How are you? Just wanted to get on here. Welcome to my kitchen. Cocinas de mi familia, tu sangres, tu sangre. My authentic New Mexico cookbook right here in my kitchen, Margaret's Kitchen, here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Anyways, I just wanted to jump on real quick and I decided to make some natillas this morning and that's what I'm doing, just making natillas on a beautiful Saturday morning. Anyway, so as you know, we need canned milk, we need eggs, the yellow from the eggs, the egg whites, and then we need vanilla and cinnamon. And you know what? And I have a, a you know, something I just, I do and I just love it. So anyway, so I have vanilla, uh, vanilla, and then of course my carnation milk evaporated milk and my cinnamon and then look at my secret ingredient i use sweetened condensed milk in place of the sugar and stuff so i since i only had the small cans of milk you know they're what um like four ounces i think or five ounces um i have four i use four of them and with that four i fill each can up after I empty the contents of the milk, I fill each can up twice with the warm water. And then in return, see Margaret's Kitchen, I put it in my, in my pot and stuff and I get the milk going. And then what I do is I get my measuring cup. It's a plastic one that I have from Tupperware or acrylic I should say. And I get about a cup out, it's a little warm. So as you can tell, I get about a cup out. And then what I do is I pour it into my bowl. And so that's what I'm gonna do right now. And in the meantime, letting it cool down. And then look, I love this because it just, it just mixes really well. So what you're gonna do is just get your milk to where eventually it's going to just boil. But right now I just have it on low, on a lower temperature. Not too high, not too low. And so my, see, as you can tell, it's just a very low flame and stuff. So this is what I do. Just get it going. So I am making natillas. My, my grandma M. My dad's mom, this was her specialty. That woman could make some killer natillas. Okay, so now as you can see, my milk is, you know, it's fairly warm. It's not boiling yet, which I don't want it to boil. And I just, like I said, I love this spatula that I have here. You know, it's a whisk. It looks like a spatula. So I call it my whisk spatula. But anyways, again, good morning and thank you. And welcome to Margaret's Kitchen. This beautiful Saturday, New Mexico morning. Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's just beautiful and stuff. So anyway, so right now I have eight cups of milk. Just, you know, getting warm. You can see it. It's just warming. It hasn't boiled yet. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in my whole can of sweetened condensed milk. You know, I found this and it's just the perfect sweet for my natillas. You know, if not in my cookbook, I do have it with the sugar um, to where you, you know, measure your, your, your granulated sugar and stuff. And so as you can tell, this is what I'm doing. You know, just uh, emptying the contents of the, of the milk. And so, like, again, I use this one, La Lechera. It's 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. And you can use regular sweetened condensed milk. But anyway, so, and I just get it in here, and I just, you know, get it going and stuff. And so, you know, melts. And it's just the perfect, perfect sweetness for me and stuff. It's just something I just discovered, and I just, I like doing it. Um, my grandma... My grandma M, my dad's mom, she always just used regular white sugar. And, and that's how I have it in my cookbook because that is her recipe and stuff. And so, and I have five eggs. I, I uh, That's all I had. So I'm just going to use the five eggs. And so the yellows and stuff. And so in the meantime, while well, this is, you know, getting nice and warm and stuff. Now what I'm going to do is, see, look, that's how hot it is 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my vanilla. And so this is one teaspoon of vanilla and I'm probably gonna use two. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know, it was funny, I had, um, that's all I need on that and stuff. And so um, it was funny, this lady, and I just thought she was so sweet. She tells me, she says, you know, she said, um, I miss when you're gonna get back on and do more videos. Well, you know, I hadn't done a, a video for a little while and stuff. You know, everybody was sick and then, our aunt in California passed away and we had gone to California to see her before she passed and spent seven days with her. And so, you know, so it's just kind of been a little bit of everything and stuff. So that's pretty much what happened. And so, you know, so it's a beautiful Saturday morning, 7.20 in the morning. So I just thought I'd make some natillas or as my grandma called it, she called it egg pudding. See, look at how nice. And stuff. So my my whisk spatula is the bomb. Okay. See, it's just really doing well. Okay. So now I have a half a cup of just regular white flour. <clears throat> And, um, and stuff so which is five tablespoons of flour and stuff so anyway so that's what I'm using there and then of course I already have my milk and it's you know it's cooled down and stuff and so trying to get this camera right and here's my empty bowl for my egg whites so anyway so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to begin cracking my eggs Removing the egg white and stuff. So I've just had the eggs out for a little while. You know, the warmer the egg, the better for making the, you know, the, uh, my grandma would call it la spuma and stuff, which is the meringue. And so anyway, so that's that part. And so I try to take this little vein out. I call it like the little vein and stuff so you never want to break your egg yolk anyways and then you put your egg yolk into your milk so again just repeat all five eggs i'm using five eggs today because that's what i had out nice that's two see to your right your egg should do good so that one popped so I can see that it popped so I'll put This is number three, no, number four, egg hey, number four. How nice. And again, you just put your egg yellow, the amarillo, y la clara. The clara is your egg white, amarillo is your yellow. It doesn't matter what kind of egg you use. I mean, I, you know, I always buy. So when you're, when you're, you just can, you can always do this in your hands. I continuously wash my hands. But you know what? This is for my family, my food. Um, so my hands are very, very clean. God forbid somebody grosses out because I used my hands. <laughs> but you know what? Using your hand, your your fingers like this, your egg yellow comes out perfect. And you put it in there. Let me rinse my hands. So you just saw different ways of me doing that. 
So then I put the egg whites aside for just a little bit and then I move this forward. So like I said, this is all that's in here. It's just the milk and the egg, egg amarillos or the yellow. never ever want to put your milk too high because of the fact is that you um, you know you take a chance of burning it and whatnot okay so you want to keep it low and um, and stuff and just watch it it, it'll, it'll it just does great so again this is five egg yellows into a little bit about a cup and a half of my milk that I had prepared in the pan so now What I am going to do is my handy dandy uh, mixer. So, a little at a time, it's going to get a little loud. So, you put your flour in just a little at a time. And I like to do it this way because it just really breaks down your your flour and your egg and of course it's going to foam a little bit and stuff and you put your flour in a little at a time. And it's ready, see? Look at how nice. Again, welcome to Market's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia, the Sangre is the Sangre, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. <clears throat> you know, I'm just, you know, my greatest accomplishment, my beautiful, beautiful cookbook that I dedicated to my father. And um, I just, you know, I just love it and stuff. So I use it all the time, you know, just put it out here. And if you want to order my cookbook, please do so. You could go on my Amazon and um, just do comidas de mi familia, tu sangre es tu sangre, you know, I just love it and stuff. So dedicated to my amazing dad and stuff, you know, um, he had a love for cooking. I have a love for cooking and that's dad and I. So anyways, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take over my egg, you know, my egg yellow and milk mixture and flour. Because I'm making a, you know, you end up making like a custard. So, hold on. Let's go over to the stove. So, as you can tell, I keep moving the, the pan from one side to the other. And that's because of the fact is I want to give you a different angle of everything. So, anyways. Woohoo! My milk is turning out beautiful. So... You know, like I said, all there is is the can of, of the sweetened condensed milk, and I used La Lechera, and you can use, you know, the Borden. I never used the No Name and stuff. So anyways, the, you know, I like to use name brand on my thing. But anyways, so um, see, as you could tell, it's just a beautiful, beautiful mixture and stuff. So anyway, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in... The, my milk mixture, my flour egg yellow mixture, and at the same time, I'm just gonna. And you want it to thicken like a nice custard, but not thick like, you know, like oh my god, you know, like a, like a pudding, as thick as pudding. You want it to be more of a custard, you know, like a, like a thicker gravy, you know, 
and stuff so that's what I did so you just mix it you know just mix it and it really does start to thicken quickly and stuff so it's just nice it doesn't take long and I'm going to turn the heat up because I'm mixing it myself so I'm turning the heat up You know, when I say I'm mixing it myself, it's because I'm right here mixing it so I won't take a chance of it over boiling and boiling over or burning. That's why I say that. So when I'm not standing here just mixing it, I keep it lo on a lower temperature. And then in the meantime, it gives, it, gives, it gives my egg whites time to just, you know, get warm or warm up and stuff, so. And on my stove, I have um, a power boil, so it'll boil quick. But you don't, like I said, you don't want it to burn. Again, welcome to Margaret's Kitchen. Comidos de mi familia, tu sangre, tu sangre, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. You know, you can always go to my website, www.nmcookbook.com mariabaca.com to order my cookbook there and then also on Amazon you can find my cookbook on Amazon uh, Comidas de mi familia Tu sangre es tu sangre um, you know and of course under Maria Margarita you know Martinez Baca and stuff so anyways I just love this you know I just love being able to you know to share my my childhood recipes that I grew up with, the childhood recipes that, you know, I was so blessed to be able to grow up around my aunts and uncles and my cousins and, you know, like they always say, your first best friends are your cousins. And that is really the truth, even though I was second oldest, second, second born in the Martinez and the Tapia family, um, but my cousins, you know, to this day, all my cousins mean the world to me and, um, and stuff. So. Um, you know, so shout out to all my cousins and stuff, you know, first, second, third, fourth cousins, you know, very few cousins that I don't know. So anyways, so remember that there's already vanilla in here, already vanilla, five tablespoons of flour, and it's not, com uh, what do you call it, um, they're not heaping tablespoons, but I didn't completely flatten it out either. So it's just about five and a half, so I should say five and a half tablespoons of flour, and then, since I only had the small cans of the milk, of the evaporated milk, I used four five-ounce cans. And each can, I filled each can up uh, with uh, warm water. So that became a total of 10 cups of water. Uh, yes, 10 cups of water, of water, of the milk and water mixture, oops. And so, um, so it's, a, it's good. So then, um, you know, beat it all up. I used five eggs today, um, which is a good thing. You know, maybe less cholesterol, right? <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I just, you know, I, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy talking and I enjoy sharing my my stories. You know, it was uh, it was always such a pleasure for us. You know, it was such a treat when my grandmother, my grandma Em would come over and we'd call her and we'd say, Grandma, can you make us some egg pudding? Because that's what she called it, egg pudding. And um, and she'd say, say, I boy, you know, there I go. And she'd come over and say, well, what do we need to have, Grandma? And she'd say, um, the, the, the leche de bote and the sugar and los huevos. And <laughs> so she used to come over and she'd make it for us and it was just a treat you know I find it strange when some people say they don't like this custard but to us it was this is gold to us because my grandma you know she just perfected it you know and oh just the best and uh, my aunt she uh, my my aunt Marianne um, my dad's youngest brother's wife second youngest brother's wife um, she perfected it 
because uh, her and my uncle, while they were, you know, preparing to for their home, their new home, um, she would um, she lived with my grandma, so she was able to learn so many different things from my grandmother and stuff, and so which was which was nice, you know, and stuff. So anyway, so you know, it's like starting to thicken, and you just kind of keep mixing it and stuff. You don't want it to burn. You don't want it to overboil you know, to boil over, I should say, and stuff. So I'll get a spoon so you guys can see what, you know, it's still a little, it's not as thick yet because it hasn't boiled, but there's so you can see it's starting to get thick. See, look at that. So it's starting to thicken. So it's nice. And then, um, but anyway, so yeah, so, um, you know, so this was just such a treat for us, just a treat. And, um, you know, my grandma was the bomb when it came to making this, you know. And so, like I said, you know, I was I was just blessed to grow up with all my, my dad's side of the family around us, you know. And then we'd come to Albuquerque, and we were blessed to have my mom's side of the family. My aunt um, Iris, she's the one who taught me how to use a pressure cooker and uh, how to make beans in a pressure cooker and she introduced me to masa frigo on how to um you know two cups of white flour and two cups of masa frigo and that's how you uh that she taught me how to use that i never had seen masa frigo my mom always made everything extremely from scratch and stuff so you know so it was all good and stuff so my aunt iris taught me that and you know, my Aunt Loretta, she used to make macaroni. So um, she perfected macaroni, that woman, and stuff. And my Aunt and my aunt Suzanne, well, you know, she just used to make enchiladas and just things like that. You know, she was, um, she always cooked. You know, she only had boys, and she loved to cook for her boys. And, you know, my Uncle Bernie's wife. And so, you know, just a little bit of everything. So I just have... You know, and then like my grandma T, my mom's mom, well, she just always made different things, but she cooked more when we were younger. She didn't cook older um, because everybody would just take her food, you know, so there was no reason for her to be cooking. But the first thing I learned from her was um, making red chili, New Mexico red chili, blended red chili with rabbit. Oh my God. And my uncle Mike used to go hunting with his friends um, near the reservation and okay it's really coming to this boil and um, let me see if I can bend it down just a little bit you can see the boil and or my arms in the way look at the boil so once it's this boil then I turn it down and it's the perfect consistency for me so anyway so Uncle Mike used to always Go hunting and so my grandma taught me how to make uh you know new mexico blended red chili with rabbit oh my god it was so wonderful she was living in barillas at the time so it was just nice look at this this is just perfect and then now that it sits it'll thicken just a little bit more and stuff so anyways that's now what are we going to do we're going to make the spuma And stuff, so. Oh, I just love this. Okay, now. So anyway, so I just, like I said, I just had the best of both worlds. I just, you know, I was able to just grow up with, you know, all my relatives, which is wonderful. And I try to always teach my girls the same thing. You know, I'm going to ask watch it just for a second. You know, I taught my girls, my grandkids. Sometimes they laugh at me because it's like, ah, uh, no. No, we gotta do this. We gotta do that. And it was funny because you know, I like to pray before we eat. So, you know, whenever we're all sitting there and I watch everybody, whatever, and then I say, okay, let's pray. And they'll say, oh my God, Mom. Oh my God, Gami. We, we just, we already started eating and now we're gonna pray? Of course. It doesn't matter when you're praying. You gotta, you just pray and, and you know, bless the Lord for the food and just bless, you know, ask, ask God to bless this food 
and stuff and so and for all of us being together you know I've been I've been very blessed you know Jesse and I have just been so blessed we're always with our kids and we just love our girls and our grandkids and you know they just mean everything to us and stuff so yeah they give Gami a hard time mm. okay that's a perfect consistency now let's get started on the meringue Okay, now um, got the egg whites are nice and and warm, room temperature, and stuff. And of course, my my mix my mixer. Uh, we have the cinnamon, and we have a little bit of sugar, probably about a tablespoon of sugar for the meringue. And so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the the natilla custard from the stove and put it next to me because we're going to incorporate the meringue into the custard and so and you know you're gonna have to hear my so there's the there's the custard let me move this just a little so you can see it so you can tell it's just nice and so anyways that's ready so now I'm gonna do the meringue and I do it on high you guys are gonna listen to my my mixer because you'll know that it's live. So it's starting to to form stiff peaks see so now at this point I'm gonna start putting the placing the sugar in it a little bit at a time You know, and you know, one thing I do want to say, and I don't want to forget, which I, I never do, but still, is that just thank you, everyone. You know, people from far and near and stuff for purchasing my cookbook, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. I just totally, totally appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, you know, for showcasing it on your you know, on in your dishes and just always reminding me and and just thank you, you know, thanking me for the cookbook and stuff, you know, for writing the cookbook. And like I said, I couldn't have done it without the grace of God. You know, God brought me through it. 
and stuff. And like in my preface, when you will read, you know, cooking saved my life and it helped me to grieve my dad. Um, like I said, he, my father meant the world to me, still does. And um, so writing the cookbook in his honor was just, was just, um, just soothing to my heart, you know, just so soothing to my heart. And again, you know, thank you everyone for just ordering my cookbook, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre es Tu Sangre, my authentic New Mexico cookbook, my recipes. They go, you know, our family's been here since the 1700s, and um, we are proud New Mexicans. You know, we are proud New Mexicans. And uh, Daddy and I, like I said, we, we Daddy and I shared the love of cooking, you know, just, we just loved it. We shared the love of family, you know, and um, just love family so much and stuff. And so, you know, whether we're close or we're distant, it doesn't matter. I just, I just love family and things. So, okay, so my, you know, my meringue is ready. So now what I'm going to do is my custard. So I'm going to get the meringue a little bit at a time. As you can tell, I'm just going to, you know, put it, place it in here. Oh, and I love, my grandma used to make the best meringue. And she used a hand mixer, you know, the one that used to, a manual one. That's what she used. And oh my God, she made the best meringue. But anyway, so I'm going to just place it all in here. You know, just like like mountains of snow. I try never to tap my, my pans because, you know, you break them that way. You uh, scrape them. So, um, oh, my, my dad used to hate for us to tap the pans. You know, because you, you know, you do, you chip your pans, you, you can, you ruin your pans and whatnot. So, but anyway, so sometimes I, I end up tapping them and when I'm, don't want to do anything else, I guess, you know, but anyway, so yeah, so th like, again, thank you. And next, you know what? And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make torta de huevo and I'm going to make all that stuff, you know, uh, now Lent's coming up. Um, I mean, Good Friday's coming up because, you know, it's been Lent. Easter's almost here. Can you believe it? And stuff. And so Easter's almost here. It's early this year. And um, so I used all my, my meringue. So just put it all in here. And then... Now what I'm going to do is get the custard and put it over and kind of break it up a little bit the the custard into the meringue because you're going to break it up a little bit because you want your you want your meringue to kind of to cook you know and um and so you know this is just a dessert that you just appreciate when people say they don't like it, I find it so difficult, you know, I'm like, really? You know, so you either had a bad natia or you just don't know what good is. <laughs> but anyways, so um, like I said, this was our, our treat with my grandmother and my dad's mom. So just get a little bit more of the custard. And it'll look like, I call it like my, it's like a snow, you know, clouds, beautiful clouds. Okay. Now, for that, I'm going to get you the cinnamon. Here's my cinnamon. And I just sprinkle the cinnamon all through my pan. And I put a lot of cinnamon because I love cinnamon. So anyways, that's what it looks like. So now we're going to place them in a bowl.
so. <laughs> now I'm going to let you, everybody see me. <laughs> because I just put my hair up. I, I, you know, I washed. I did everything, you know. Got myself together. And then, um, but I just put on my robe this morning because I just, I just wanted to relax this morning. So anyways, I'm going to lift this camera up a little bit. So you guys can see me. Hello. And stuff. So here I am. Hello. Good morning. Anyways, I am going to, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to serve myself a little bit of the, of the natillas. Okay, now, see, let me lift the camera up just a little bit more and stuff, but look, yay! So I just love Matthias, and it just reminds me of my grandma. Mm. Buen provecho a todos. Oh my God. Oh my God, yum, yum, yum. This came out amazing and stuff. Thank you, Grandma, for teaching me. And just, you know what? And just thanks to my family for just giving me the gift of cooking. You know, aunts, uncles, cousins, you know, just everybody just has that beautiful, special gift. Mmm. I just love it. And it's the right sweetness for me. So when I discovered that I can use sweetened condensed milk, I did it, and stuff, so, mmm. And when you can bite into the meringue, you know you've made a kick butt meringue. Mmm. It's just perfect. Just perfect. You know what, everybody? Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me, and again, thank you for those that have ordered my cookbook, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre Es Tu Sangre. Thank you. Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Invite everybody, and again, you can order my Authentic New Mexico cookbook at www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com, or you can get on Amazon, and you can order it from my Amazon store, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre Es Tu Sangre. Thank you all. Oh my God, God bless you. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, eight o'clock in the morning. Took me, what, half an hour to do this or so? And um, well, um, an hour because I talk so much. But anyways, uh, thank you. And you know what, and I love talking. I love sharing, I love talking. I, I just truly enjoy all of this. So again, thank you guys so much for everyone that has ordered my cookbook. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, Welcome to my channel, Margaret's Kitchen. Adios, goodbye, see you later. Buen provecho. Let me know if you guys end up making my pudding. Let me know, my natillas, my egg pudding, as grandma called it. You know what? Post a picture, tag, you know, hashtag Margaret's Kitchen NM. You know, hashtag every time you make something, hashtag subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up. And stuff you know and if you give me a thumbs down tell me why and stuff but I hope you don't give me a thumbs down but anyways thank you thank you thank you God bless you I love you all hey and don't forget to check out my TikToks, yeah cuz I love doing the TikTok. but anyways talk to you soon bye